Hey guys, Aaron from PhoneDog.com and BeBerryDog.com here, and you know, instead of doing the typical unboxing and video reviews and kind of being dumb with each device, we're taking an in-depth look at some of the holiday's hottest smartphones in hopes that it'll help you make a better buying decision, whether it's a gift for family, friends, or a device for yourself. We're making sure that you know everything about the device before you head to the store. Up today, the BlackBerry Storm 2 9550, I'm covering the messaging capability. And special thanks to our friends at Best Buy Mobile who hooked us up with not one, but two BlackBerry Storm 2 smartphones for giveaway in our One Paw Bandit contest. You know, honestly, I'm a cell phone enthusiast, I'm sure you are too, but for the mom, dad, grandma, aunt, grandpa, etc., Best Buy offers a program called Walkout Working, where when they get a new phone, uh, they get their email set up, they get web set up, they get their contacts transferred, things that make their life easier. So where you and I are probably like, nah, I'll do it on my own, I'll go home and you know, sync it to my computer, something of that nature, Best Buy's walkout working program makes it easier for them. So enough of that, let's get into the video. It's part one of a multi-part video series which starts right now. So let's talk a little bit about SMS and MMS. And one thing I like about, uh, well, actually one of the several things I like about OS 5.0 is that it separates the messages and the SMS and MMS messages by default, number one, and number two, they're threaded now. So let's go in, I'm going to pretend like I'm writing an email to myself, or a message to myself rather, but just to give you an idea, those bottom buttons, this is compose, this is scroll up, and this is scroll down. Uh, these also stand for delete and open when there's actually a message in the queue. So let's compose a message to me. Let's say compose to Aaron. And Aaron Baker pops up. Hey man. Oh, that's not get. Hey. And I'll respond back to myself on my other device and you'll see that there's a different color that comes up when I respond again very much like Blackberry Messenger but it's nice to see the threaded te the inclusion of threaded text messaging and there you see that I've responded you can do the same with MMS compose an SMS text compose an MMS you can IM from the messages and you can compose a pin or an email from that menu You know, besides some touchscreen gestures to accommodate the Storm and Storm 2 users, the Messages app has remained pretty much the same throughout the course of Blackberry's time. Let's go in here and have a look at it. You can see that my messages are there, and I'm actually in the Catch All Messages folder. If you wanted to go to an individual email account, or email folder rather, you could go here. You can see my phone dog one's attached, my personal email address is attached or I can go into messages if I'd just like to see them all across the board. So let's just say I wanted to compose an email and you'll see down here it's compose much like text messaging it's compose, open, delete, scroll up and scroll down. So I'm going to start here you can either compose from there or I can hit the Blackberry key and hit compose email. But let's compose from the main screen. I can compose email, pen, SMS, text, MMS, and instant message. So it's nice if I want to start in an email and I decide, hey, let's text message instead. I can just click on that and it'll redirect me. But let's send an email. And we'll send it using phone dog, let's say. Send it to... John at John.com, just using it as an example. Again, you can turn it into portrait or landscape mode if you're more comfortable doing that. And you can see that's ready to go. When I want to send it, I just click send in the top right hand corner and it'll automatically send if I want to see a bigger picture without the keyboard. I do a swipe down like that and I can see it in either mode. Show keyboards there, save draft is there if I decide I want to revise it a bit before I send it. We'll discard that message. 
if I wanted to respond to a message, let's say I wanted to respond to Verizon and say hello for some reason, I can uh, hit reply down here, reply, forward, delete, scroll up, scroll down. So we'll hit reply. Since they sent it to my personal email address, it's defaulting and sending using Aaron Baker instead of my phone dog address. So when I'm ready to go, I would hit send right there and I'd be in business and that message would fly off and land at Verizon. So the Storm 2 supports several instant messaging clients, all of which can be found in the instant messaging folder on the device. Let's go to the actual menu, click on instant messaging. You'll see Windows Live Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Google Talk, AOL Instant Messenger, and BlackBerry Messenger. Most of these have to be downloaded from the internet with the exception of BlackBerry Messenger. I'll show you. When you click on it, it's going to route me to the BlackBerry specific page to download. Here's BlackBerry Messenger, and if you know anything about it, you'll know that it's uh, kind of an exclusive IM client for BlackBerry users. Each device comes with a PIN, and when you type in the PIN, you can message each other. So, for example, I have a friend of mine already on here, so we're going to send her a test message. We'll say, hey, not yet. Hey, stop that. Stop that. Hey, Kate. How are you? You see the D that stands for it's been delivered. When you see an R, that'll mean she's read it. And up here you'll see when she responds to the message. So we'll wait on that. And you can turn it. Oh, she's writing back. You can turn it in portrait or landscape to type. Sup, cuz? <laughs> I am good. How are you? That's funny. She's a jokester. Anyway, uh, so that gives you an idea of that. You can do a couple different things with BlackBerry Messenger. You can have individual contacts. You can also have with BlackBerry Messenger 5.0, uh, which is not coming preloaded on devices at the moment. You'll need to download that from the BlackBerry app world. But you can create a, a, what's called a group, where it, let's say you have a group of people that want to serve as BlackBerry techs or something of that nature you can create a group designed specifically for them. So another feature of BlackBerry Messenger 5.0, you can scan a barcode. So instead of remembering somebody's PIN, each device comes with a unique barcode. And I'll show you mine. There's my barcode. And you, when you hold it up when, to a camera of somebody else's device, they can scan it and it'll automatically add them to your buddy list or your contacts list rather. And we'll respond to her in portrait or excuse me, uh, landscape mode. So she responded back to me. Let's say I let me find some cool lingo here. Am making a video for my phone dog peeps. Yo Could help if I could actually spell the name of our company. It's not O. Phone dog. There we go. And I sent that. And we'll minimize the keyboard. And you can see it there. So that gives you an idea as to some of the Storm's messaging capabilities. We're going to cover multimedia, the general OS, the hardware, and more. So stay tuned to PhoneDog.com, BeBerryDog.com for more coverage. Until next time, I'm Aaron. Thanks for watching.